Hey guys, what is up? How is today going? Hope everything's doing wonderful for you guys. Today's, uh, we're going to pivot over until a little bit of gaming. Uh, one thing I've really picked up the last couple weeks is uh, I've got a, you know, a couple of my buddies have been playing the Pokemon Go app again. And, you know, this is something that I really got into a couple years ago and I kind of fell off. They just made it too hard. There just wasn't enough. Um, and it just kind of, I guess we'll say it got got old, but uh, I actually brought it back the last couple weeks, like I said, just because they've, they've added two whole new uh, uh, series of, of but you know a bunch of pokemon you know you can catch a lot more newer thing more new things you can come out and uh they've they've added new things whether it be in research or you know you can gift things to your friends you know they always made it so hard to always you always had to go out and go places all the time but now they're actually making it where you know you can kind of sit in your house and actually catch this stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and just go into my uh pokemon go app and you can see i've got some you know three pretty uh impressive ones just sitting around here at the house and uh, you know of course these uh ones you need a, a lot of candy on so i'll run through a couple of the quick features and maybe it'll get you guys involved in it um of course they've got a research progress you know uh you know you can come in here and get some more xp and these little stamps that give you more things of course uh, they've got a special over here that allow you to to earn, you know, earn extra XP by hatching eggs or doing something else. And then, of course, you get those rewards at the bottom. And you can see I'm two of eight there. Of course, uh, those are the two tabs, field and special, under the research over here in the binoculars. But, of course, the, the one of the biggest things were awesome was here was they don't actually tell you where uh, this are at. You know, you press the little paw prints, and it'll actually tell you where these are at. You know, in the old version, they never told you that. So that's a, that's a big, awesome feature that I... Uh, that I love if you know you see some shadowed out ones that you wanted to find you could actually go after it and get it but uh, of course other than that you know they added a whole new realm of uh of uh pokemon which uh like i said it's uh it's fun to get back into it kind of gets us active and getting us out of the house and we we do enjoy doing that so you know you can tell uh, this was the old old um, series of pokemons they had added it and of course you know they added all these new new ones all the way down to 362 different kind of Pokemon. So, uh, but today is actually the biggest thing I want to tell you guys is how to find actually Pokestops. Uh, this is something that really came in handy for me. It helps you kind of fly around your city, like kind of like on Google Maps. Um, you, you can fly around and check where all the Pokestops are. Of course, you know, just being here in the app, you know, we can see when we've got one way off here in the distance. And, uh, but what I'm going to show you next is uh, actually something that'll uh, allow you to use a, a, a map and actually find more clusters of pokey stops you know because you don't just want to constantly just have to worry about that one um but yeah you can see i uh, i'm just zooming around there's really nothing around me a whole lot got one way off in the distance there so uh, and you know i want to go to a really clustered area of pokey stops so i just go to google i type in pokemon go pokey stops map of course i'm gonna hit this very first one right here and let's just say we're going you know to sh we're gonna be in chicago you know you can see this map already it uh it may not load the pokey stops out with being this far out but yeah you can see they've popped up the orange triangles are gyms and the uh the blue squares of course uh those are the pokey stops so let's say we wanted to come in here to chicago and really find a cluster of pokey stops that way you you know you can whether it be uh, going down the street and not having to walk so far or or just you know you can look how concentrated these are down here of course that's going to be downtown <laughs> chicago of course but you can do this for any any city that you live in and see where they're at and uh another cool thing about this game is that you know what you can play this game anywhere and how it tags where you catch stuff and so it's kind of fun to see you know the different um you know, the terrains in, in the locations, regions, we'll call it, actually have different Pokemon available. So, of course, we're going to just keep zooming in. And then we're going to get close to, uh, you know, be downtown in the city. And we'll see how much it actually brings up. But you can tell, I mean, this is this would be a great, great place to, if you were Pokemoning, uh, you'd be able to catch a lot of Pokestops here. And that, that's the new thing about having a lot of a lot of the, the items you need in your bag to catch all this stuff. Because uh, they, they do allow a lot more catching, whether it be around in your house. So every time I open up the app now, I'm able to catch something. So I really enjoy that feature. You know, we always had to go somewhere to get it. Uh, so that's pretty cool. But, you know, you can see just, just how concentrated just even downtown Chicago is. Um, and of course they make it like a little, we'll call it a scavenger hunt too, because you can go on there and, uh, you know, I'm sure the, uh, you know, favorite locales, you know, of course they always do churches and stuff, but uh, of course you can just go in and click one and you can actually see what the, the Pokestop is actually, uh, um, 
where it's at, what uh, what it's called, and you you don't know what to look for as well. You can hit info. Of course, it brings up uh, some of the info that would actually be on the Pokestop now too, which is kind of cool. Looks like they added some uh, user user data that you know you could type of you know something up on these locations. But of course, you know the the uh, orange triangles are the gyms, so you know you can go there and battle at the you know this is downtown Chicago Water Tower. Um, so that this is um pretty cool so you can just kind of see where your location's at find your favorite location that has the most to offer that way it's concentrated and you can get the most bang for your buck and uh, that's something that i've been using a lot and seeing where we can go um other than that i'll throw it back into the pokemon go app real quick and um a couple other features you know they made it where you can you can trade with your friends uh you can add friends and of course every pokey stop you go you can you can throw them a gift which helps you get a, you know extra pokeballs or or can't uh, not candies but um you know fruits and stuff to to feed them and so you know they they made it really um they've done a lot better at this that's for sure i so I, i've enjoyed doing it again and i just wanted to see if uh if this helped everybody and i hope it does and as always um you know we'll we'll keep going on uh things that 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 we like to do around here and hopefully the that the things that i'm showing you guys actually help you so as always if you guys like it feel free to comment like subscribe to us and uh can't wait to see you guys in the next one guys see ya